everybody it's a big dog podcast this is josh wilson and it's thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving jonathan happy thank you, turkey thank you. day you know people have a lot of different um opinions and viewpoints on thanksgiving and whether it should be celebrated not celebrated whatever um i'm not gonna get into all that today what i'm gonna talk about is just a little bit of things that i'm thankful for and maybe if you're listening to the podcast maybe you're in the car headed to family's house today Maybe you are um, at the airport waiting to get on a plane because you're trying to make it home for dinner. Uh, whatever it may be, I just thought maybe if I talk about some things I'm thankful for, you might realize, damn, I got a little more to be thankful for than maybe I'm feeling in this moment. Um, you know, Thanksgiving's funny. We, we always make a big deal out of it in my family. Um, but like my mother and I don't particularly care for Thanksgiving like food. Like turkey, I never, I never eat turkey. I never have a desire to eat turkey, Jonathan. I mean, turkey tastes like the animal itself never drank water before it died. <laughs> it just died you're, without a sip of water. Look, <laughs> you're eating the wrong turkey. I mean, I mean while I, <laughs> most people's turkeys, yes, taste like it's never had a sip of water in its life. You ever had, um, you ever had a fried turkey, deep fried turkey? Oh, of course. Okay. You had smoked turkey? I'm about to say, I'm pretty sure I've had you deep fried turkeys, okay. right? I've definitely yeah. had yours. Okay. You've had smoked turkey? Mm-hmm. All right. You ever had the turkey where they, um, uh, what do they call it? it they like soak it in like a bucket. Oh, like a brine? Like a brine. There yeah. you go, the brine. That's pretty good. That turkey definitely tastes like it drank water. Drank plenty. Uh, still a little dehydrated, The though. fried turkey, though, is my favorite. It's delicious. So, you know, we're not, my mom and I are kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, I'm not trying to get into yams. I'm not trying to get into, you know, I'll eat some greens, but it depends on who makes them. You know what I mean? You like yams, Jonathan? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. What about cranberry sauce? Uh, I mean, it usually goes. You like, a can guy or you like grandma's recipe from 300 years ago, cranberry sauce guy? I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm dirty. I like the canned stuff. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Like, don't be ashamed of the canned cranberry. You drop it out. It's got the ridges on it, so you know where to slice it. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh, that's super smart. No, that's how long it's been in the can. Exactly. It's just gelatin. People joke. <laughs> My mama, she'll open that thing up and just dunk. Joker just sits there on the, on the platter or whatever. But, you know, people have different traditions and different things that they do. One thing we started doing a couple of years ago was um, prime rib. Or like a standing like rib roast or whatever. So we did that a couple of times. Like, man, this is this is really banging. This is really delicious. And then I was messing around, probably something on Instagram or whatever. I follow some food things and barbecue guys. And they were like fried prime rib. So hold up. What? Fried prime rib. So you take the, the standing rib roast, the bones in there, all that mess, what looks beautiful at the carving stations or whatever, drop that mug in the big pot like you're frying a turkey, but you fry the prime rib. <laughs> that doesn't change, change your life. I think that the people who are making like these new versions of barbecues are the modern day scientists. I, that's crazy. Hey, uh, not all heroes wear capes. Some of them wear aprons and smell like meat. So <laughs> no, It's funny. You know what my family does for Thanksgiving? What's I, that? None of us really even eat thanksgiving like yeah. we'll get like one plate or something like that but my dad he doesn't eat thanksgiving whatsoever he just asked my mom to make it so that he could eat the leftovers the next day because he's big in the leftovers not the actual not big in the actual meal itself no that's fair i appreciate that Devin, a couple years ago she took the leftovers and she made me this thing she made um waffles out of the stuffing okay so there was a waffle with turkey with a scoop of mashed potatoes, the gravy poured over the top of it. Phenomenal. It was a leftover Sunday, And I'm like, holy crap. I mean, it was so good. I'm getting hungry right now. Here I am talking a lot about Thanksgiving food. I'm saying I'm not really into it. I'm kind of into those things. Yeah. So anyway, different families have their different traditions, whatever. And, and hopefully that today you're getting to enjoy time with your friends, your family, and things of that nature. And for us, um, ours the last couple of years have, has looked 
very different. Um, this will actually be the second, maybe the third year in a row. Um, we always typically go away for Thanksgiving. Um, we like to get away, just local, just chill out, family and stuff. But when we started the dog training business, um, Black Friday actually became a large uh, sales day for us. And uh, I would have never thought that uh, or expected that. Um, but this has actually become like our family tradition. And so this year, uh, last year was the first year where staff actually came and met up with us. Um, this, so this will be year two. Uh, we got a great house rented up outside of Charlottesville. We're going up on Tuesday. Um, Katie and Evan are coming up. Uh, Almaris is coming up. Jacob and Liz are coming up on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, some might be there for dinner. Some may not. And we're just going to enjoy a couple of days with family. And once the meal's done, my family knows I kind of go into to work mode. And there might be some games on in the background, but we'll go into the war room. And uh, we legit set it up. Whatever you think a war room looks like, I think about like the NFL like draft day. Yeah. You got the screens, you got the monitors, you got all the, the stats, everything going on. And that's how we set it up. We find a space in the house and we don't leave that space. We start probably around nine, ten o'clock Thursday night. Uh final prep. Sales kicks off at midnight. And then um tonight, and we won't leave the war room until Sunday afternoon when we leave to come home. We are nasty. We stink. We're just, we're tired, but we're, we're helping people. We want people to, to take advantage of some special pricing that we do. You know, so if you're listening today, you need dog training, be paying attention to us on social media tonight because it's going to go down. Um, then we'll come back Sunday and then we all meet up at the house for Cyber Monday and handle the selling. But it's really be kind of become this neat tradition where my family knows, all right, you've got me until post dinner. And then I flip into work mode and my mom will be there. My grandmother will be there. The kids, uh, we got a big crew going and my family, it's really funny. They go and do whatever they want. They enjoy, you know, the house they are staying at the area, uh, but they make sure me and the team stay hydrated. They make sure that we've got food and snacks, mimosas, you know, whatever we need, they've got us going so that we can just focus in and do it. And I love that. Um, and one of the things I'm thankful for, you know, is our team. And I'm thankful for a team that gets what we're trying to accomplish so much that on Thanksgiving, they choose to come hang out with my family so that we can help better our, our business. I think it's an, an amazing thing. And I'm, I'm super thankful for that. Um, so yeah, our Thanksgivings look a little bit different, but we always have a blast. It, it's always a, a good time. Um, you know, so some things that, that for me that, thankful for uh, my family first and foremost i just told you they give up basically thanksgiving holiday for our business a lot of people wouldn't be on board with that a lot of spouses i'm thankful for my wife and that her she can be big picture for our life and our mission as a marriage and a family to where the fact that i bring a bunch of people from work to thanksgiving and to hang out with us when a lot of people are off of work and spending that time particularly focused on family. I'm thankful for a wife that does not one feel frustration or anger towards me, you know, for that decision, but doesn't also get jealous or envious of the the decision and is supportive and, and all in. I'm so thankful for kids that, that understand that also. I'm thankful for a wife that, that uh, supports me through everything. I'm thankful for kids who love our business. I'm thankful for my kids who are, are confident and good human beings. I'm thankful for my kids who are smart like their mama and not like their daddy. Um, I'm thankful for my kids who stand up for people that are uh, maybe a little, not less fortunate, that's the word I'm looking for, but they stand up for people who in a situation may need a hand, may not be able to speak up for themselves. Both of my kids in a heartbeat will, will shut down a wrong to somebody. Um, I'm thankful for my wife who is so generous and a giver and she cares so much for people. Um, I'm thankful for their love. I'm thankful for, um, their encouragement. I'm thankful for my team. You know, I'm thankful for, you know, the, lo the locations that we have. I'm thankful for an Austin. I'm thankful for Olivia and Alex. I'm thankful for Katie and Nathan in Bell County. I'm thankful for Taylor and Jenny holding it down in Charlottesville. I'm thankful for Liz in Des Moines. 
I'm thankful in Hampton Roads, we've got a, a platoon. Well, I don't know how many people are in a platoon. Maybe, how many think you're in a platoon? I would go, my first guess would be like 30 to 50. So I think we're about there. Damn, let's call it a platoon. For those who know what size, a platoon is probably like 3,000 or 300. Who, what do we know? All I know is we got a squad in Hampton Roads, and I'm thankful for all of them. I'm thankful for Dwayne. I'm thankful for Jaira and JJ and Evelyn and Dane and Ashley and Amanda and Jonathan and Alex and Larry and Ashlyn and Peyton and Megan and Kat and Kelly and Carly and Caitlin and Hope and Allie. It's like I'm singing the reindeer off, right? I was about to say, I'm you Dasher. <laughs> we, got, we got Bryant and Sabrina and Emily and Jacob and Landon and Stephanie and Brandon and Abby and Brent and Nikki and Jacob V and Mike and Melissa and Shelby. I'm so thankful for that team in Hampton Roads. We've got more people in training here, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for a business that, that people want to be a part of. I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for our team in San Antonio, Alan and Alora and Ryan and Angel and Kendra and Shay and Kyra and Lee and the people that are in the process of joining that team there. I'm not going to shout their name out because, you know, you got to graduate. You got to do the right stuff. But San Antonio is doing such amazing things in Texas. I'm so excited for that team. Here at headquarters, Lord knows I'm thankful for Katie and Almaris and Peyton and Sean, and Kelsey, and Liz, and my kids, and Devin, they're a part of that team. They help out. That's a huge part. I'm thankful for Two Labs Outfitters. I'm thankful for Elizabeth, and Katie, and Josie, and Anna, and Rebecca, and Olivia, and Danielle, and Gabe, and Kylie. Um, like, all of these people, I'm so thankful for. Did you already get Milwaukee, too? Man, look, Milwaukee, I ain't even got there yeah, yet. Yeah, shout out Shelby. Shelby, Marissa, Cassidy, and then Madison. We've got Chelsea. It's ridiculous. Who else am I thankful for? My podcast guy, Jonathan. Thankful for you, brother. We can't do any of this stuff. None of these things that we do are we able to do without all these names I just listed off. It's crazy. And I think about all the families that we're able to impact, not just the families attached to each of these names, but all the families with dogs that they struggle with, all the families with dogs that, that need care when they're traveling, they want to be able to count on somebody to take care of them, look after them. All the, the, the people that are cared for by the support staff, um, all the people that listen to this podcast and hopefully just get, if one person every week just gets a nugget of encouragement or something of value they can take away from it. You don't know what the long-term effects are of all of those steps, but none of those things are possible without this team. None of these things are possible without my family um, you know, supporting and encouraging and, and being on board with this stuff. So I'm so thankful for all of these people. I'm thankful for apex. I'm thankful for Ryan. I'm thankful for Thomas. I'm thankful for the entire team at Break Free Academy. I'm thankful for Arte and Andy and Ed. Um, I'm thankful for Sean and the Lion's Den. I mean, these are these are groups of individuals, men, women, that are just, you know, just amazing, amazing people, all different backgrounds, all different stages of life. But the common denominator between everybody is, I know I can become a better version of myself. And they're striving to figure that out. There's some great people in there, but they're not where they want to be. They're striving to be better, better husbands and wives, fathers, moms, siblings. You know, they, they're striving to be better. And I'm thankful for the investment they make in my life. I'm thankful for the challenges um, that they put in front of me. I'm thankful for opportunities. I'm thankful for, you know, us growing from, from four locations to nine this year. I'm so thankful for that. That wasn't given, but we worked to create those opportunities. And when those opportunities came about, we could make a decision. Does this fit what we do? I am so thankful for each of those opportunities. <laughs> I'm equally thankful for every single struggle that we have faced this year. And I'm thankful for the struggles and the hardships that will come next year. Because I believe you have to have those things. And you have to work through those things because as you deal with those things, they prepare you to handle and carry the opportunities that'll be presented. A lot of the opportunities we were presented with this, this year, 
I'd have been too scared to take. I'd have been too scared to take, uh, make the decision to move forward on the opportunity. Had we not dealt with some of the struggles and pains of the past. So I'm equally as thankful, probably more thankful for the struggles than I am for the wins and the opportunities. I'm thankful for all of that. I'm thankful for our country. I am thankful for our leadership in our country. Didn't say, listen clearly, that I agree with a lot of the leadership in our country. I said, I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for the process. I'm thankful for what this country allows for us to do and accomplish. I'm just thankful. I'm thankful for all of it. I'm thankful for dogs. I'm thankful for good dogs and bad dogs. I'm thankful for cars. I, I love cars. I'm glad, you know, that there's an opportunity for me to not run around in that 88 Plymouth Horizon like I did back in high school and college. I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. I'm really glad I don't have to do that anymore. And no more burning yourself. No more burning myself trying to get it to start. No more overheating going up Afton Mountain. I hop over Afton Mountain so quick now it's not even funny. And I'm thankful for that because it's a lot of fun. See, back in the day, I used to pray. I would get over Afton Mountain. Now I'm just timing how fast I can get up over that mug. Car doesn't even hesitate, just <gasps> gone before it just to be a shake and no heat and freezing cold trying to see my girl at JMU. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. You're driving that car right now, Jonathan? Yep, driving that <laughs> solid 2000 Toyota 4Runner. Right? Yeah. Hey, that Toyota's still going. That Plymouth is not. So yeah. there's something to be said about that. I just hit 300,000 miles. I'm thankful for my baby. Hey. Be thankful for that. Be thankful for Toyota. A lot of cars ain't going to go 300,000 miles. So that is something to be thankful for. But it, it's, there's so much, guys. And if I, I could sit here, I could do a three-day podcast, probably longer, on things I'm thankful for. And it sure as shit doesn't mean my life is perfect and everything's just great. But this is just the tip of the iceberg for me of things that I'm thankful for. I'm not going to wear you all out. I'm just trying to get you thinking a little bit. You know what? You, you might not be with your family this year. You might not be with your friends this year on Thanksgiving. Like, man, I wish I could have got home. I wish I could have done this. But maybe, maybe you're, you're under the weather. Maybe you got a family member who is ill. Maybe you got somebody who's high risk. And for the second year in a row now, you've got to be away from them. Okay. That sucks. Let's be thankful we're all still here. Let's be thankful we woke up. Let's be thankful we have the opportunity to call and FaceTime and email and text and say, hey, check out this meme. Hey, also, by the way, I love you. I appreciate you. You mean the world to me. That's what today's about. The bonus is some food. Be thankful. Take a few minutes today before you fill your, your belly, before you smash the pie down your throat, three, four, five slices. Before you get that food comb on the couch watching the game for a reason those sorry ass lions will be on TV as usual. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> congrats, the Cowboys lost, or we all knew the Redskins were gonna lose. Don't they play on I mean, I'm every year? sure that they do, and that's probably what's gonna happen. And that's the Washington football team, Jonathan. All right, uh, I'm gonna tighten that up. Uh, sorry, everybody. Yeah, I was about to say we, we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll, we didn't put it hopefully didn't press any of his feelings there. We apologize. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're very concerned about that here. But it, it before you do those things today, just take a minute and you will be shocked at the amount of things that you come across in your mind that you're thankful for and your day will feel very different than if you just blow through it. So for no other reason, take a moment, see what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for this podcast. I'm just thankful to wake up this morning and be here. And I'm thankful for uh, all the dogs that are going to get set up with our training over the next couple of days. Take us out, Jonathan. Happy Thanksgiving. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows.